The greatest common divisor of a set of whole numbers is the largest integer which divides them all. Let's see a few examples. To start, let's find the greatest common divisor of 12 and 15. This is how you write it. You abbreviate greatest common divisor is GCD. It's sometimes called the greatest common factor, but nowadays greatest common divisor is most common. To find the greatest common divisor, first let's find all the divisors of 12, then we'll find all the divisors of 15, see which ones are common, and then we'll find the largest one. So let's first find the divisors of 12. These are all the numbers which divide 12 evenly. 1 divides every integer. 2 divides 12 evenly. 3 divides 12 because 3 times 4 is 12. 4 divides 12 evenly. 5 does not divide 12 evenly. You get a remainder. 6 divides 12. When you divide 12 by 6, you get 2. You get 0 remainder. 7 does not divide it evenly. Neither does 8 or 9 or 10 or 11, but 12 does divide 12 evenly. Every number divided, divides itself. Now let's look at the divisors of 15. Once again, 1 divides every integer. 2 does not divide 15 evenly. 3 divides 15 evenly, so 3 is a divisor. 4 gives you a remainder of 3. So 4 is not a divisor. 5 divides 15 evenly. And we continue, and the next number which divides it evenly is 15. So now let's see which divisors they have in common. 1 divides both of them. And the next one we see is 3 divides both 12 and 15. But other than 1 and 3, there's no other divisors in common. So the greatest common divisor is the largest common divisor, which is 3. Therefore, the GCD of 12 and 15 is 3. These three little dots are the mathematical way of writing the word therefore. So this means, therefore, the greatest common divisor of 12 and 15 is 3. Let's see another example. Let's find the greatest common divisor of 9 and 10. Once again, we start by finding the divisors of 9. Okay. Once again, 1 divides every integer. 2 gives you a remainder of 1. It's not a divisor. 3 divides 9 evenly, so 3 is a divisor. 4 gives you a remainder, 5, so on. The next integer is 9, and every number divides itself. Let's see the divisors of 10. There are 1, 2, 5, and 10. So let's look at the common divisors. In this case, the only divisor they have in common is 1. So therefore, the greatest common divisor of 9 and 10 is 1. Whenever the greatest common divisor of two integers is 1, we say those numbers are relatively prime. Now, the numbers themselves don't have to be prime numbers, but they're kind of prime relative to each other, meaning they have no, uh, num no factors in common other than 1. Just as you can find the greatest common divisor of two whole numbers, you can find the greatest common divisor of 3, 4, or any number of integers. So next, let's find the greatest common divisor of 9, 12, and 21. So like before, we're going to go through and find the divisors of each of these. So the divisors of 9 we saw above are 1, 3, and 9. The divisors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And the divisors of 21 are 1, 3, 7, and 21. So the common divisors are 1 and 3. Therefore, the greatest common divisor of 9, 12, and 21 is 3. Now this method for finding the greatest common divisor is 
is, is okay when your numbers are small, but what happens when you work with very large integers? For example, what if you had to find the greatest common divisor of 1,785 and 546? This would be a very difficult method. Luckily, there are additional ways to find the greatest common divisor, uh, and one of the oldest is called the Euclidean algorithm, which we'll discuss in another video.